Welcome back. Many are making new holiday traditions this year and looking ahead to the new year. Recipe developer and cookbook author Molly Boz joining us now with ways to keep your family food traditions alive through the holidays and how to cook healthy in the new year. More, uh, Molly, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So good to see you. I know that, um, gosh, I think now maybe more than ever when it comes to traditions, like we're kind of holding on to those things and trying to grasp on those things to make us feel happy. Um, I know that you guys, you like to talk a little bit about how these culinary traditions, how we can keep them alive right now for this season. What do you want people to know? Well, okay, so I think that one of the major ways to stay kind of rooted in tradition over the holidays is to stay in the kitchen and just keep cooking. And so while everything looks different this year and my Christmas cookies, which you see here, also look very different than the Christmas cookies that I normally make with my family, I feel like it's also a good year to kind of break with tradition and try new things. So I've never made these before up until about a week ago when I developed this recipe, but they are salted Biscoff meringue cookies. Mm which are basically like it's a bunch of pantry ingredients so egg whites and sugar and vanilla and salt and you beat the egg whites to really stiff peaks and then you fold in cookie butter and crushed biscoff cookies um, and the cool thing about them is that you know everything is mostly in your pantry already and all that you need to make them is a large bowl and a hand mixer. So I made these with this KitchenAid cordless hand mixer, which is pretty awesome, excuse me, because um, it's not attached to the wall. And so you can move freely around your kitchen. I've even been known to um, bust out a batch of cookies while sitting on my couch. I love it because you're like, okay, I'm on live television right now. And I just knocked, was that the bowl that you knocked on the floor? Just because that's what we do here. We we point out things like that. Oh yeah, you just move on. <laughs> exactly. All right, so I want to, um, you know, when it comes to fun traditions and fun recipes and unique ones, that's a good idea. You kind of mentioned, too, some of the products there, but is there something else that is kind of in your kitchen, the go-to, that um, maybe someone like myself doesn't have or a staple that I should? Um, I keep my kitchen stocked at all times with, like, a very base minimum um, pantry ingredient list. So that means, for me, olive oil, salt and pepper, obviously. I like to keep uh, a bunch of different vinegars on hand. There's always 15 lemons in my refrigerator and a lot of fresh herbs. And that allows me to make really vibrant fresh food um, with just a few simple ingredients. But I think that, you know, the end of the year and moving into the new year, this is a great time to take a fresh look at your pantry and maybe purge it of some of the mm -hmm. things that could probably be chucked. I know that there's a lot of stuff in the back of my fridge that's been there all year long. It doesn't need to be there anymore. And so it's a good time to kind of reset your pantry mm -hmm. and get some new things into the fridge so that as you move into the new year, you have a lot of exciting ingredients and condiments to play around with. Molly, thank you so much. I sure do appreciate it. We hope you have a great holiday season. Happy holidays. Thanks for having me. Absolutely.